managed to catch a bit of a tan over the last few weeks, so I'm going to be using a slightly different foundation to normal and mixing two colours to get the right shade for my face. After that I'm going to be using some grey lenses, and the first thing I'm going to do is start filling in my brows. So I'm going to brush them into shape and then fill them in where they need to be. Before I start doing anything else in the eyes, I'm going to be using a primer, and I quite like this one because the finish is quite matte and it's not very oily, and so it's perfect for some of the drawings that I want to do later on. I'm going to blend it out with my fingers, and then next I'm going to be using a blue eyeshadow and a small detail brush. I'm actually using a nail art brush, but you can pretty much use whatever you have to hand if you have an art brush, a nail art brush, or if you have any actual makeup brushes which are very good for small details, then go ahead and use that. And I'm going to start by doing a little curve just underneath the tear duct, a curve in the inner corner of the eye underneath the brow. We're going to do another curve just under the arch. And then you want to do a little bit of, I guess, a tailed eyeliner, so it's got to try and follow the shape of the eye. And then down the centre of the eye, I'm going to be using a pearlescent shadow stick. And then bring that blue eyeliner right down into the corner of the eye. On the corner of your eye, you're going to do a C shape, and then whatever's left in your brush, you're going to run that through the very centre of the lashes on the lower lid, and try and really work that in there. Now once you've done that, you're going to go over everything else and make sure that the bottom has a very subtle gradient, and then lines leading out of it, and this might take a while, but it's really going to make a difference on the overall look once it's finished. At the very end of the flicked eyeliner you're going to do another C shape and that's going to curve around and then it's going to curve a little bit towards the very end of your eyebrow. So you're doing a bit of a kind of twisted S shape and you want to have quite a few lines going out of that. On the inner corner of the eye you want to try and do a circle which is going to follow the socket of your eyeball and then bring that line around and connect it to your eyeliner. And next we're going to be using some white eyeliner, and you want to use that around the edges of all the blue lines. You're also going to use it inside the blue curves, but where you've drawn the lines to create a little bit more of a shape around the eyes. I'm also going to bring that down the very centre of the lid, but leave gaps between the centre of the lid and then the inner corner. Once I've outlined everything with white, I'm going to be using a turquoise eyeshadow. I'm going to use this on a C shape on the outer corner, on the centre of the lower lid, on the inner corner just underneath the blue line, and then on either side of the upper lid, but you want to leave the centre of the lid free so that that gold colour that we used earlier still gets to show. I'm also going to run that colour through the start of the eyebrows at the very base, and I'm going to fit in quite a lot at first, but then I'm going to take an eyebrow brush and just run it through so that it's not so intense. Going back to the outer corner, I'm going to do two other blue lines, and they're going to curve up, and then one's going to curve down. Now after this, I'm going to do a few marker lines, just so that later on I have a reference for where I want to stick the rhinestones. I'm going to do a little bit more with a white eyeliner. I'm going to create some little curves that are going to point down from my lower lid with blue and then outline them with a white eyeliner. And then after that, I'm going to be using some dark blue rhinestones. And then after the dark blue rhinestones, I'm going to use some regular clear ones. I'm also going to put a few rhinestones just above the brows and then I'm going to do the other side of the eye and add some false lashes. Now for the rest of the face we're going to be using two colours on the lips. Now I know that that lip tile looks black but it's not, it's actually quite a very dark reddy plum, it's a beautiful colour. And I'm going to be using that down the centre of the lips and then we're going to bring that colour around the lips, especially in the corners. And then I'm also going to do another line down the lower lip and the upper lip. And at first this is going to look quite cartoonish, but you want to wait, just do all the outlining, and then once you've done that, you're going to blend it all together. Once that's all blended together, I'm going to go over it with a lip gloss stick, and I'm going to be using a very pale pink for this. 
but if you want to you could go over it with a different colour. You could possibly even use an orange if you apply it very very lightly because it would be quite a nice contrast with all the blue and the blue hair. And the last thing I'm going to finish off with is a baked coral blush. And I'm just going to apply this on the apples of the cheek and then blend it out with the rest of the foundation. And that's it. You're done.